September of 1963 saw the new beginning for yet another high school. This time it was located across the parking lot from Greenwood Elementary School. The building that is now known as the middle school was a big upgrade from the previous building. This building was brand new, but still yielded some problems such as a leaky pool. By 1972, school sports had greatly expanded due to the passing of Title IX, which caused the creation of more girls sports. This led to the immediate creation of girls basketball, swimming, track, volleyball, softball, gymnastics, and tennis. During the late 70s and early 80s, concerns over the building's energy efficiency caused the superintendent to propose a new budget to address the worries. However, any spending of that budget was put off. During the late 80s, a concern over crowding caused the district to make expansions to the building, as shown in this 1987 yearbook. Not long after this transition, the school board began the discussions of potentially making a new building. Due to the rapid population growth of the 80s and the 90s, the schools were becoming noticeably crowded. Jean Moulter was a teacher at the old high school building during the late 90s, and we got a chance to talk to her about some of the problems that the old building faced in this interview. Our first question was, what kind of events or changes were taking place at the high school at this time? I would say the two, um, two events obviously were, um, we switched from the regular seven period day to the block scheduling. And that was something that had occurred shortly after I started teaching here. My first year it was um, the seven period day and then we started exploring the what the block schedule was all about and the advantages and disadvantages of the block schedule and that was in 95-96 and then I believe it was 97 that we did the trial run of the block schedule to see if it would work and doing the tweaks with focuses and um, which if it worked or not so that was the first year I had my first focus and then um, we've been on the block schedule or a modification of the block schedule ever since. And then of course the second big um, event was the planning and implementation of the, the new school and sitting down and going to meetings. I was on the committee um, that went to explore different types of schools. Um, how did we want the school laid out? Um, what was the you know, purpose of the new school? Um, you know all of the the design and the architecture um, what was our mission statement going to be uh, so we were a part of developing uh, the kind of the building block of the new school next we asked if it was necessary to create a new building to accommodate for student population and give students more opportunities at the high school I think um, l let me address the opportunities I think that um, in order to afford more opportunities for our students, um, such as you know a studio like this, um, or other opportunities with the gymnasium and um, just more classroom space, there was a need for building a new school. And you know, according to the projections that were given at that time, you know the district was going to grow, and because of that, you know, we wanted you know, the district was going to be proactive and make sure that they built a school that would house um, the, in, the increase in the number of students. So, you know, I, I think it was something that was needed. Um, and, you know, at that time, technology was starting to be a, um, very important, and we certainly didn't have the space in the old building that would allow us the technology aspects. So we were starting to outgrow um, what was there. And in outgrowing the space, you outgrow the opportunities. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was time. 